Hey, welcome back to Robot Arena 2, DSL 2.2. Today we're going to have the second part of our little mini tournaments with uh, <laughs> Bluish versus the House Bots. First bot's going to be Roly Poly, which is a lightweight um, aluminum bot, I believe, four wheel drive. I'm not sure if it's in verbal or not, we'll find out in the arena. And then after that, we have uh, Ajax 2, <laughs> Drive Vengeful, Robot X, Beta. And uh, the super heavyweight, the judge. Okay, let's see where we're going to be here today. Okay. We're going to be in the combat arena and the hazards are going to be on. So we have Roly Poly and Bluish in our first bout. This should be rather interesting. And we're up. Nice forward hit by Bluish. Knocks Roly Poly into the wall, chasing Roly Poly around. When he has him turned over, can work. I might be able to drive an invertible, inverted. He's spinning and jumping around quite a bit, little Roly Poly. Some more hits here. Looks like Blue is scoring some points. And Roly Poly is having a hard time doing any maneuvering upside down. I don't know if it's able to, to, to work very well at all. And we've got a countdown going. And Bluish comes in for another good hit, and then another. Oh, now Roy Poly is back on his wheels. Another good hit. Crowd's going wild. And Roy Poly is backing away, trying to avoid the. Uh, Spiked weapons here that uh, Bluish employs. The wedge is working very well. Another good hit by Bluish. Starting to damage the Roly Poly a lot. Got him wedged into the wall here. Like Roly Poly is taking some more damage to his chassis here now. Stuck into the uh, arena wall over here. You see the wheel is turning vigorously, but he's not being able, he's not able to get out of the corner. And it uh, looks like Roly Poly cannot drive inverted. He's being counted out in the corner. The match is over. Oh. We'll be right back. Well. That was rather interesting. Bluish put up a very good, uh, put up a, a nice battle there, and uh, Roy Poly fought okay, but was never able to really get his wheels underneath it and stay um, inverted. Once it was turned over, it had a heck of a time maneuvering at all, and then ended up um, stuck, so it really couldn't maneuver um, in the inverted mode. Our next contestant is going to be Ajax 2. <laughs> um, this should be interesting. It's um, also a wedge style weapon and quite um, quite able. So, Ajax 2 with flippers and wedge, and also a set of spinners uh, that are offset so they wouldn't interfere with the wedges in reality. Um, the flippers, that is. Uh, so, here we go. Combat. <coughs> They're moving toward the center, and Bluish has been launched into the arena wall. Can he turn fast enough to get away from the flippers? Nope, he's trying to self right. Oh, oh my god. It looks like he's being torn to pieces here by these terrible spinners. Bluish is in horrid trouble. Will he be able to get out of this one? I don't think so. He's in trouble. He's burning. He moves in for a, a valiant attack, but is instantly launched into the wall. Desperately trying to get away from the flipper arrangement of this horrible Ajax machine. And Bluish is eliminated. Okay, well, we'll be right back. Well, that was uh, rather expected. Um, poor little Bluish never really had a chance to get underneath um, the very fast and agile Ajax 2, which is a very dangerous wedge bot, hard to get underneath it. At any rate, uh, Bluish put up uh, a good fight, but was eventually just uh, ripped to pieces and thrown all over the arena and destroyed. Next contestant is going to be the equally um, destructive Grog the Vengeful. Uh, let's see how well Bluish holds up against this uh, ground-based spinner. 
which is um, not incredibly mobile but very powerful and has uh, good armor and I believe it's two wheel drive and spins up very quickly so Bluey should be um, should be watching out here. Here we go. This should be interesting. And they're moving to toward the center. Looks like Blue is just trying to get underneath the rock, but the spinner's just knocking him sideways. Blue is in trouble. He's trying to employ his spikes, he's trying to get underneath the rock. He's, he's gotten underneath the rock, he's done some damage. He's continuing to try to attack, giving all the credit in the world. Tough little bot. But that spinning weapon's just too much for Blue. He cannot. Oh, he's throwing himself in the wall. He's barely able to self right. Glancing off of the horrible Grog's weapon. Grog is actually suffering a count out. And a hit by Bluish. And Grog is turned over. Can this be the comeback of the century? <laughs> and Blue is, Bluish is pushing Grog over toward the arena wall here. Having actually flipped it over. Continuing to shove Grog along. If the, if the clock starts, that's that. No, Bluish is going to continue to push him across the arena here. Now they're both over here in the corner here. Bluish is trying to employ its spikes, but Grog is stuck at a crazy 45 degree angle. And the clock has started for both machines. <laughs> is Bluish going to win this one? By virtue of counting out Grog the Vengeful. The match is over! Oh my my my. What an incredible little lightweight. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Wow. Well, that was some incredible bat battle there. Um, nobody expected that. Uh, not the announcers, not the judges, not even uh, the uh, the audience expected Bluish to do anything but get tossed around, beat to death, and then find destroyed by the incredible power of Grog the Vengeful. But um, apparently Bluish mustered up enough strength to rush in, knock Grog off of its axis, turn it over on its side, and finally shove it around the arena and count it out. Well, that was amazing. Our next contestant is going to be Robot X. It's a lightweight. Grog, Grog Vengeful, of course, was a heavyweight. We all know that. You can see it in the setup. And let's see. Prehistoric is two-wheel drive. I believe it is invertible. And it has a um, sword weapon. And I believe it's a spinner. We'll find out um, how it works in the arena in just one moment. So we're going to have uh, Robot X and Bluish. Ooh, nice, it's a forward attack by Robot X. He's right in there, he's trying to slam that sword into Bluish. Bluish is moving in with its uh, double spike arrangement, trying to get underneath Robot X and damage its chassis and maybe tear up its wheels. You can see Robot X is trying to back up so it can launch an attack. It's a ramming bot, apparently. But Bluish is beating him to the punch here, getting to him before he has a chance to line up for an attack. Another good shot. Oh, hey, there's a good hit by the sword on top of Bluish's chassis. Another nice ram by Bluish. He's trying to get underneath Robot X, which continues to back away. Suffering some damage from the four um, spikes. A little lull here. Bluish is trying to get... Oh, a nice hit on the Two good hits on Bluish by the four spikes. That caused some damage. Now the rope is... Uh, Saws over here, they're taking a lot of damage from <laughs> the house um, obstacles. Looks like Bluish is trying to immobilize Robot X. And he's backing him into the wall. Looks like a good hit on one of the robots there. A nice stab by Robot X. And there goes Bluish in again, trying to get underneath him, underneath Robot X, and employ the spikes on his chassis. And the Robot X is showing a bit of stress now. The countdown has started. And a good jam there for both bots are in the arena corner. Looks like uh, Bluish is starting to really employ these spikes very well. The Looks like Robot X is suffering a lot of damage on its chassis now and having a hard time employing its weapon. Crowd's going crazy. They're really enjoying this robot here. 
And another good attack by uh, Blue. She's uh, pursuing Robot X all around the arena. Kind of like a matador and a bull here. Both machines have scored a fair amount of points, too. Lots of uh, action here in the corner. With both machines doing a little bit of a pure pirouette there. Another good attack by Bluish. Seems to have Robot X in real trouble now. Lots of chassis damage. Robot X could be eliminated. There's only about 25 seconds left in the bout. 20 seconds now. And there's some real bad chassis damage. And it looks like Bluish is suffering some damage too now. Smoke from one machine and heavy chassis damage from the other. The clock is about to wind down. More damage. Almost knocked out here at the very end. Great battle. We'll be right back with a judge's decision. Well, we have the judge's decision, and it's fairly obvious. Bluish did most of the attacking, although Robot X did put up a good fight. Scored some damage, caused some um, some chassis damage to Bluish, and even some smoke from, um, I believe it was the self-writing mechanism was smoking heavily. But there was uh, a lot of damage to Prehistoric's Robot X, and it was almost destroyed there at the end, so we're going to award this one to Bluish. Our next contestant is going to be... Beta Heavyweight. Ooh, this should be something. Can uh, Little Bluish hold up against that hammer? We'll find out in just a moment. So, here we go in the Combat Arena. May the strongest bot win. Oh, the hammer comes down on top of Bluish. But he gets in underneath. He's tearing the heck out of Beta's chassis just like that. Oh, this can't be for real. Wow. Okay, well that was incredibly unexpected. We'll be right back next bout. All right, well, that was, uh, like we said, very unexpected. Um, Bluish got underneath Beta, and apparently his chassis was very lightly armored, and its underside was, uh, had virtually no armor at all, and was destroyed very quickly. So, our last contestant is going to be the super heavyweight, a super heavyweight, the Judge, with an incredibly powerful downward striking hammer and a solid steel number 10 chassis, I believe, and it's four-wheel drive. I'm not sure if it's invertible. I believe it was shoved around by um, Ajax 2 once into, into the arena wall and was not able to uh, self-right, but that was a different uh, bout with a different bot. Anyway, here we go. Super heavyweight versus lightweight in the combat arena. Hazards are on. Final bout of the night. Here we go. The They're both moving towards the center, and look at that! A nice slice by... Oh! A big hit by the hammer! Apparently... Beta's... Uh, Bluish is able to get underneath the judge. It has to avoid that incredible hammer. It's causing damage to the, ju to the judge's chassis, but Bluish is already badly hurt himself. The judge is stuck on the side wall here, and there's a countdown going. This can't be. Apparently, the judge is only able to self-right once or twice. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be right back. Hmm. Well, that uh, that last bout was rather unexpected, as were a few of them. This uh, little bluish machine is able to perform some interesting stunts. It uh, immobilized the super heavyweight, which did seem to self right once, but um, uh, I don't know what happened there. It took some chassis damage or something. And it was turned over for the second time and was unable to self right and was counted out and beaten by the lightweight uh, bluish. So stay tuned for our next round, which is going to be the good old boys. This should be um, really incredible. We're going to have uh, what bot is this? Um, Hammerhead Shark. X for experimental. This thing is it's, it's a big box robot invertible with um, armored wheels. Um, uh, looks like it has uh, uh, some sort of uh, protective um, skirts on the top and bottom. It's just an experimental bot to, for, for testing weapons packs, but it's in the lineup. 
Next one will be Grizzly Bear. <laughs> that should be impossible. And then we'll have Bob, uh, Billy Bot, and another super heavy one. This one should be impossible for um, for Bluish because it's so heavy and really hard to get underneath. At any rate, we'll see you um, in the next round, uh, the next mini tournament with Bluish versus the House Bots. So stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.